Hey everybody, I have a Lenovo N42 Chromebook here that has a broken display. And this is a quick YouTube video on how to change that out. So I've purchased my new screen and my iFixit kit. You probably find the tools you need uh, around the house um, improvise a little bit, but uh, this kit, kit's a great kit to have. It's got a lot of stuff in it. So get that out and also all right to start off with we will uh, just simply take a uh, push pin and remove there's two uh, covers for the screws one here and one on this side we'll pop those off with a pin and be careful, they can go flying on you. We'll just set those aside. And then we'll remove the two screws. All right, now we need to figure out how best to get the screen started. We have a lip around the edge here. Let me just find a good spot to get started with one of these prying tools. <clears throat> I'll try to get a bite right here at the top. There we go. So we, we've got a little bit of a bite here that you can see. And I don't want to stick my uh, tool in very far to damage anything behind there. But I just want to slide it sideways. So we get some of that pop off. And then just carefully go all the way around the whole screen like this. All right, on this particular model, it's a little bit tricky now. Uh, what I found is, is that the screen appears to be glued to the bezel. So this material that's on the front of the screen, we'll take this one out of the bag here, I'll show you real quick. So in a second here, when I start pulling this bezel for, uh, try to pull this bezel off, it's gonna stick and peel some of this tape and whatnot that's attached to the front of the screen off. And for that, we'll just use a tool. Um, I've seen some people just take a razor blade in there, in this grab here, and cut it. Um, I suppose that might not be wrong, uh, but we'll see if we can't just run our finger carefully along here. You hear that tape cracking, and it's peeling, it's peeling off the monitor. If we look inside here, you can see the, the circuit board's exposed. And what we're going to do is just try start at one end and see if I can get a view in there. You can see where that tape is separating from the screen. Uh, I'm going to try to simply peel that tape off the, uh, the screen here, or off the bezel that it's sticking to. I don't know if I'll be able to get a good shot of this. Let's try. Tipping it forward a little bit. And I'm simply just going to peel that tape up. Let's see if we can get in there. Let's see what I'm trying to do here. Oops, it looks like I just ripped part of it. Try it from the other side. See what I'm doing here. Turn around this tool. Real difficult to do with holding a camera. As you can see, this 
it's got to come off from the bezel. There we go. So now you can see that I separated the bezel. It just pops out of there once that uh, once that glue that was on there is. And this, of course, was just supposed to be attached to the screen, like so. All right. So now that we have access to the screen, now that we have access to the screen. There's four screws that we need to remove. One here, one here, one here, and one here. All right, so now we have the four screws out and we should just be able to pop the screen forward and set it down on the keyboard. And next step is to simply peel up the tape. Usually something sharp helps with that. Maybe a razor blade, or in this case, we have our little push pin that we used. All right, this particular screen doesn't, the uh, cable doesn't have a locking mechanism on it. So we just gently need to peel the tape back and pull the cable back. And slide our old screen out of the way. Slide our new screen in. I like just to put something down to keep it from getting scratched or damaged there on the keyboard. And then this is, of course, the most delicate part of the whole process is carefully lining the new connector up. And if it doesn't feel like it's going right, don't force it. And it feel like it went good, I'm gonna secure it in place with the tape. Uh, if your tape's not in that great of shape, I'd put some extra tape on here, but this tape uh, seems pretty solid. And then we're simply going to Lift the screen into place. So we got the screen in place. We're just going to put a couple screws in. And this isn't a bad time to turn it on and see, uh, see make sure we've got a good, uh, good screen. So we'll just power it on a minute. And look at that, that's a good sign. We'll go ahead and power it back off. We'll finish securing the screen. Uh, you can watch me if you'd like. I can, I'm gonna snap the bezel back into place <clears throat> after I put the rest of these screws in. be a good time to remove this plastic film. And snap our bezel back into place. Gonna go around all the edges and look for close 
squeeze it. Just gently squeeze along here to seal this edge. And then put our screws back in. Put our little screw covers back on. And we're good to go. Thanks for watching.